Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create or how to color grade for a desert shot. So we're going to be creating this right here. The original footage is going to look something like this. This is typically what you get from if you actually go out and shoot a desert or from any stock footage. And we're going to be adding this fun effect to it. it looks kind of Breaking Bad Mad Max style, and it's very, very quick and simple to pull off. So first thing is first create ourselves a new sequence. I have this footage from my course. If learning Adobe Premiere Pro through tutorial based lessons is something that you would like to do, check out my course in the link below. Once the footage is added in, we're going to do a couple of quick adjustments here. Over in the Lumetri color, I am on the color tab right here. We're going to go in and we're going to take the exposure and bring it up just a touch. The reason we're doing this is writing effects are going to bring the exposure down. So we just need to make sure we adjust for that. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go over into our project tab, create a new uh, adjustment layer, click OK, it'll create it over, we drag it on over, and I'm going to click the C key and just trim it off the back just to clean this up a touch. Now, once we are in our adjustment layer, we're going to go and look for an effect. The first effect we're going to look for is an effect called ramp. With ramp, we're going to take that drag it onto the adjustment layer and you're going to see it takes over the entire screen. That's because we haven't added the blending mode to it, but that is okay. Our start color is going to be the top. Our end color is going to be the bottom. For our start color, we're going to go with a sort of magenta-ish color. Uh, maybe somewhere around here, but slightly lighter. We're going to maybe aim for right around there. And we'll see whenever we apply it if that's proper. For our end color, we're going to go with a deep orange. Somewhere around here, you can make it slightly more red, slightly more yellow, depending on the scene you're trying to create. Now you see we have this good blend right here. We're then going to go into our blend mode and we're going to go to multiply and it's going to apply over our effect like so. Now this is a little bit intense. So we're going to take the blend with original and we're going to bring that up a little bit. And that's going to take the coloring and blend it down into the background a little bit, maybe even 30 for this. We're then going to take the opacity and lower that down as well. And this is going to reduce the effect a little more around 80, 85 usually looks good. And now you see instead of this being a really extreme effect, we have a little bit less of an extreme effect. Now, to sort of even things out, what I like to do is we give it a little bit of a ramp scatter, and that's going to blend it a little bit more. And now it's looking pretty good. We're then going to go into our effects and look for an effect, an easy effect here called contrast. It's going to be brightness and contrast, other color correction. We're going to grab that, we're going to apply it, and because it's below it, it's going to apply after the ramp. So if we take the contrast here and we bring it up a little bit, it's going to pop out the background a little bit more and make it sort of look like it's a blended or the, how the actual thing looks instead of us applying a filter overwards. We're also going to make sure that our ramp is proper um, in the, the way that we want to do it. So if we bring this down, we bring the magenta down further and we remove the orange. If we bring this up, we do the exact opposite. So we can kind of work through here. And I think bringing it down just a touch makes it look a little better. And we can, you know, of course, change the color. I think I went with a deeper orange last time. And yeah, the deeper orange, I think, works a little better. Apply some more contrast or really, you know, you can, uh, a good technique is to apply it all the way up to the beginning and then bring it down until something looks good. So it's actually right where I had it last time. The, the 30 range is looking pretty good. And so now we generally have a good effect going. To clean it up, I like to go back into the original footage, go into a vignette, and I like to add a little vignette around the edges. It focuses our attention towards the center, and it makes the desert look a little bit more mysterious. You can also take the creative side here, and we can adjust the shadow tints and things like that. So we might be able to play off of maybe the highlights, bring them a little more yellow, and you see we get a different effect with that. We could tint them all in just different directions to give it more of a subtle feel. So I'm going to take the highlights and tint them slightly into that field. And it's actually kind of fun sometimes to tint the shadow into the slight blue side of things. And that's going to give this a, a contrast within the contrast. And now what we have is this footage right here. And like I said, it comes off a little more Mad Maxi, um, Breaking Bad sort of feeling, and it gives your desert a little bit more of a vibe. Now this magenta is coming down a little bit strong, so always we can always go back up here and try to take this start ramp and maybe bring it back maybe above here. And then now the magenta is a little less and the orange takes over a little more. If we wanted to, we could even zoom out and bring this way up to sort of just have a tiny magenta line near the top, all up to how you want to do the effect. But that is how I would color correct a punchy desert scene. 
Thanks, everyone, for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you'd like to learn more Adobe Premiere Pro in a nice, organized manner through tutorial-based learning, that means that we're going to do a tutorial. You're going to learn the effects behind it, and then the next tutorial will build off of that over and over until you learn the whole thing. Then go ahead and check out the course that I created in the description below. Thank you, everyone, for joining me, and until next time, see ya.